Right then, time to do some work with containers. But the world's quickest primer on what a container is first. And I'm just setting my stopwatch here to see if I can get this done in like under less than a minute. Now, if you need more than what I'm going to give you here, go see my big picture course. Anyway, the clock is ticking. So, you know how a virtual machine manager or a hypervisor, how it grabs physical resources like CPU, RAM, storage, networks, then it slices them into virtual versions, so virtual CPU, virtual RAM, virtual NICs, all that goodness, and then it builds virtual machines out of them, virtual machines that look, smell and feel like normal physical servers. Well, not so with containers. Now, keeping this somewhat high level here, right, instead of slicing and dicing physical server resources, Docker and other container engines slice and dice operating system resources. So, they slice up the process namespace, the network stack, the storage stack, or the file system hierarchy, actually. In effect, right, every container gets its own PID1, process ID1. Every container gets its own root file system. That's obviously slash on Linux and C on Windows. So, hypervisor virtualization virtualizes physical server resources and builds virtual machines. Container engines like Docker, they're more like operating system virtualization. They create virtual operating systems, assign one to each container, inside of which we run applications. And they're way more lightweight than VMs. And okay, that took me... Oh, check that out. Less than a minute 20. I'm happy with that. Like I say though, if you think you need more, go check out either my big picture course or even my Docker deep dive course, because in that one, I really get into the weeds of how this is all put together inside of the Linux kernel. So, things like kernel namespaces and control groups. But yeah, there we are. Let's go work with containers.